There's two pieces of meat in there. Have you checked the net? Yep. Okay. So we'll Good. That's one last hassle yeah. for later. <laughs> That's what I was thinking. Uh-huh. <laughs> okay. You have such a sweet face with such a scary noise. Yeah. Hey everybody, this is Filmo Bobcat here at Big Cat Rescue being loaded up and we're going to be having, uh, we're going to meet Jamie out at the That's cage. All right, Rally Sarah. Face. Oh, so mad. You getting such a <laughs> fun playpen though. Playpen. Play, playground. Yeah, one, <laughs> one last word. Yes. <laughs> well, so, he already got called chubby and he didn't like that. No. Either. He was like, oh, this one needs a diet. That's funny. <laughs> No. <laughs> so Jordan and Anthony are gonna get Filmo loaded up. We'll follow them out and we'll see. He may not interact with it at all while anyone's there, but I figured you guys would wanna come along. So thank you to everybody who has donated and will be donating towards the project for Filmo that is all done now. Jordan did last minute things earlier. Afton's cart. Just joining, Filmo Bobcat was caught this morning during breakfast and taken into the recovery hospital. He was in the air conditioning in a two-part cage all day and he got vaccines about an hour or two ago from Dr. Justin and Jamie's back and ready to help us put him in his new home. Uh, we filmed Ginger Move last week. So Ginger, last Thursday, a week ago, moved out to the Serval area and Beecher went on plantation. My husband and I have just finished working on Kelowna and Dryden's cage project from 11 to 4, that's what we did today. looking really good and it was super satisfying because for the first time ever my husband went to take a bunch of the supplies back and I was kind of locking up and gathering things. And I look over and Kelona is just sitting at the side of the cage looking at me and I was like oh we're doing this all for you. <laughs> so that was really fun. be a very long live because it's just to get Filmo outside and then we'll all kind of clear out see if we can see him adventuring in his new space. Jamie just posted a bunch of new photos of it and everything that they finished up and a couple weeks ago I took you guys inside the enclosure so you could see what they had built. Not much changed from there other than now he has his fern planters filled with ferns. They've been raked and grass seed and everything looks really good. So this is one of the cages. This is kind of the front bubble view. That's where they built all kinds of Deers and such for him and then he's also got this whole back area with all the palmettos. I know a lot of people are like oh he's losing his tree which also this used to be a lockout right here and this is magical that it's gone now because it was <laughs> very hard to get around but truthfully with all of the health issues that Filmo has it is definitely um, a lot better to not <laughs> have him go that high up into a tree. 
<laughs> so this is the second part of the enclosure. So all of this was put in new for him. Lots of ferns up top there. And now there's a tunnel that connects the two. And he's gonna come this way. He's very angry. I don't know exactly where he's gonna wanna go, but. So we'll keep checking in with him on upcoming walkabouts just to see how he settles in here. Right now he's being put into the back section of the other enclosure. We didn't want him to run and jump up onto a platform or anything crazy. It's all right, buddy. Oh, what is that? You got it, sir. Okay, Good job. Oh, you got small girl as neighbor. Oh, I don't even think I'm gonna be able to handle it. <laughs> I'm not going to be able to handle the cutest bobs next to each other. Good job, Philip. I always call him Philip because my phone auto corrects Filmo to Philip every single time. So it's become my own little nickname for him. So they have to just come back out of the enclosure. And then we'll be able to open the door so he can have the front section. Smalls! Come look who it is! It would be very interesting to have a camera between the two of them tonight because I'm sure she's going to be like, what the heck? Well, it's funny when I There's came a boy. Like, we're both like... <laughs> yes, they watched, uh, I was just telling them, for the first time since Mark and I started that project, we worked on it from like 11 to 4 today, and by the time we were packing up, I look over and Kelona's sitting at the side of the enclosure just staring at me. I'm like, this is all for you! Thank you for your recog <laughs> for recognizing it! <laughs> oh, so cute. All right, misters! Oh, we have new den to jump on. There's no escape plan that way. There's no escape plan that way. Ooh, they opened your door. Mr. Filmo. Go see. You heard that door open. You heard that door open. Figured if I bother him back here, he'd come up there, but he's standing his ground. Yeah, all he's doing is looking up. <laughs> yeah, there's stuff to climb on up front, bud. Yeah. No, not this way. I'm still back here. Oh, hi. don't want to hang out in that den. All this good stuff. Oh, mister. All this good stuff. <laughs> they always have to check and see if there's a way to get out. I mean, that is your new den as well, but. Jordan, can you go to three? He's just growling in the den. <laughs> and it's very echoey. <laughs> I was like, I'll see if leaving helps at all.
So, like I said, it might take him some time to adjust and figure out that he has all this new space. Because he's gonna have to also figure out that he can go up and across and use that overhead tunnel too. He's going to do all of his exploring tonight when it gets dark. Here's another view of it all. Smalls won't come anywhere near while there's a squeeze cage in the area. Okay, I just come back here and bother you again. Just for a minute. Oh, I was like, where did it go? Hi, cutie. Yeah, Victor and Jamie did so good. I know. He's like, it was a very big day. First thing this morning, he was caught at breakfast time, taken into the recovery hospital. He had all of his mats trimmed off of him. He got vaccines, and now he is in a new environment. So that is an awful lot. Bobcats really don't like change. They are very picky when it comes to certain things. We were able to get him to eat and take his med before bringing him outside. So at this point, we're just all going to clear out, let Filmo get used to it all. He's got so much to explore, so I will check in with him next week. I hope you all have a really great weekend, and thank you so much everybody that shared this and joined us, donated, and just can't do any of this awesomeness without you guys, so thank you. All right, bye, Philip. Bye, sir. I think Smalls will come take care of you. I think so. All right, guys, see you soon.